How you guys all doing? Hero of None here, and we're taking a look at stuff on the PTS as part of Merkmeyer. Uh, we have two houses to look at as part of this new uh, patch. Uh, one I've already found, the other one I had to go take a look online and had and Reddit help done all that stuff uh, to find it. So first off, we're going into a snow globe, and then we're going to go into a water temple. Uh, so first, instead of East March here, where you typically had the Festival of Life, there's a new house. You won't actually see it on the map until you come up and you look at the house of the snow globe here. You get shrunk down, put in, much like you got shrunk down and pulled in for the uh, the Clockwork City stuff. Come on, do do do. Currently not for sale. You can see though it's a little frozen winterland wonderland in addition to that you can see the entire <laughs> um outside of the festivist stuff here i kind of wonder if like people could come up and like shake it if you could have snow inside of it or something be kind of cool but also kind of annoying at the same time This is also kind of a creative way to have, like, invisible walls. Because normally inside some of these houses here, you just, like, hit a board or you just die or you, can, like, hit a wall and you can't go any further. In this case, look, you're in a snow globe. Of course you're hitting a wall there. There's freaking glass. The flurry is going around here as we're going, as we're, uh, circling. Circling perimeter here just to show it off. This little tuft of wind is how you get out. So you got a stable up here. Got a well down there. Some lanterns. And now the main house here. The main house itself got reindeer for the uh the handles it looks very um imperial it does not look nord at all got a nice little hearth here get the door, door there up into the tower kind of a lighthouse Back over here, balcony. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go down below here. Stellar bed chamber. Rear courtyard, so it's on the ground level there. Have a little bit of space up there as well. Come out the back here. Interesting. So it's been it's it's kind of like a lighthouse, but they didn't have a place to put a lighthouse. So they put it into a snow globe. <laughs> and you just come back out once you're done. Surprise all, surprise all the Nords that are around drinking and, uh, and festivities when you do it. No 
Oh, very interesting way to handle that. Now the next one is actually in the Merkmire area. And it's Lake it's Lake Meyer Zenmir. And this is a house that was um used to be owned by Argonians that had control of water magic at some point, or believed to have water magic. Su such. We're on the PTS as well. We do not have access to buy these yet, so they're they're totally unfurnished at this point. If you're wondering why there's not any like doodads or anything like that, it's just basis stuff. Uh, we already taken a look at this this uh, entire house last night, but we're just gonna give some of the highlights here. First is uh, it does have some waterfalls you can go down into, but if, as soon as you do so, you will die. You can see it's a giant Dragonian temple. You can enter it in down here. We're gonna stick outside for a little bit here while we show the outside. Huge, 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 like, water areas here. Like, if you like swimming, this is your thing. You like your Gordians as well. This is your thing, too. Look, look at the architecture here. Nice, large side areas here, too. You got a whirlpool. We'll show where that goes later. And a good look off into the distance over here. I can make my jumps here. There we go. Of course, there's hidden walls that prevent you from jumping over the side, as always. But just give you a nice little view of some things that are out there. That are out there. And we fall in. Now, next, we're going to go up to the top here. And you can enter, actually enter on from up here. Look back and you can see you have a little ladder that goes up there. This is the top of the temp temple. Then you come down. Come down a little bit more. This here leads to the entrance that we came through the first time. And then we have this. I think Zoss is ripping some of you guys off. Because, I mean, I've seen some aquariums out there, and I think Zoss just took a look at those aquariums and were like, yeah, we think we can do better. And they did this. And <laughs> they did, absolutely did a whole lot better. But to be fair, I mean, look up how many odd objects would have it taken to make this type of scene. With all these schools of, like, fish and everything else. Yeah, magic is holding this back and making sure that we don't get, uh, this water doesn't come crushing down on top of us. Some hidden things in the way here. Probably gotta fix some of that. Now, you remember that, the whirlpool we saw at front there? Yep, that's where this leads to. You can quickly get yourself down below. Got a nice water fountain as well. And you got one more level to go down tier too. Fountains, because I mean, honestly, what 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 is a large house without like more bad bathing areas? Gonna have all the bathing areas. Make, make this a sauna room or something.
So, for an Argonian temple, it doesn't suit me. But I will say that the addition of this, like the aquarium, is very cool though. I really enjoy that. And this is in the Argonian uh, expansion. If you want to get it, you get a hold of it, I believe you're going to have to have either the crowns to buy this place or the Argonian expansion itself. I don't know if it's going to be part of the uh, part of the buyables that you can get with it, but sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. My guess is probably not because they don't do that with all of them, but who knows? Maybe they'll put this in. Uh, now, just to note a few other things as well. If you guys haven't been paying attention on Twitter, ESO is doing an event right now to do your summer fall, um, your Somerset exploration stuff. And what does that involve? Well, go to Somerset. Go to all these points of interest, all right? As you go ahead and get all these points of interest done, that is going to give you an achievement. Open this up here and find it. Pathfinder. Find all these items in here, okay? And then everyone, everyone that has Somerset and has found these is going to add to the total percentage and however many people fill this out is going to be how this actually fills up and what rewards you're going to get. The first reward is going to be a pet. The next is going to be a mount. And the last one, if you get 100% participation, I don't know if that's 100% of everyone that has Somerset playing this, or if it's just 100% of, like, people that logged in, or whatever, maybe some plus or minus. Either way, 100% can people get into this. They're going to give away the large, large house that's off Artanium. That, that, that's going to be given away for free if you have Somerset. Huge, huge area. Get in there. Get this. Tell your friend, go in there, get this Somerset Pathfinder done. If you need help finding it, just contact me on Twitter or YouTube. We'll find it together. Come on. Get this done. And we are all going to get that house together, guys. If you guys all participate, of course. But at the very least, it's a pet and it's a mount. Get into it. Anyways, that's your done. That's the two new pet, new, uh... That's two new houses that are on the PTS with Merkmeyer. Hope you enjoyed and... Hope we're going to see more here in the future. Bam, bam, bam.